Hello everybody, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so happy that you've joined me here. In today's video, I am in my oversized bathrobe, fresh out of the shower. My hair is still wet, it's gonna dry throughout this video. We're gonna do a skincare routine, a very simple skincare routine for combination oily acne prone skin, which is basically my skin type. All of the products in today's video are from a single brand called Listen. Listen is not a stranger to my channel. You guys have heard me speak so much about this brand over the past one, one and a half year now. All of their products have worked so beautifully for my acne prone skin. I have active breakouts right here, right here. This one's still healing. So this is going to be a perfect routine for all of this acne right here. If my voice sounds a little off and it's going through the waves, then please excuse me because my nose is super stuffy. I literally just recovered. I was under the weather because the pollution in Bombay City is so bad right now. And if you have allergies like me, then you know the drill. Before we get into the skincare routine, let me quickly introduce myself. In case you're new here, hi, my name is Preeti. I'm India's first cruelty-free beauty blogger. I talk about all things cruelty-free, which means products are not tested on animals. I also talk about veganism, sustainability. Shout out to a lot of local Indian brands and a lot more things. If this is the kind of content you resonate with then please subscribe to my youtube channel and continue watching today's video all right now a little something about listen in case you haven't heard of this brand listen is an upcoming indian skincare brand i absolutely love their formulations i haven't tried all of the products but the ones that i have have worked really well for me now listen in my opinion is a very skin positive brand i love the fact that they're trying to normalize your relationship with your skin i love the whole idea of backing everything with science with progress with results while showing some compassion to your skin just like an ally would along with the science aspect of skincare and positive the brand really wants us all to focus on self-acceptance, accepting yourself the way you are while working on a good progress report, while working on yourself, while making things better, not being so harsh with yourself. This has happened with me a lot of times and let me know in the comments if this happens with you too. When you're breaking out, you feel so angry, like what did I do wrong? And then now you're just spot correcting, applying all the exfoliants, doing everything under the sun so that the acne just goes away. You want to get rid of it. And sometimes it takes a toll on your self-image, on your self-worth. And this has happened to me quite a lot. There are days when this still happens and it's just a journey where you're always learning and healing. And for me, the whole idea of self-acceptance that the brand is putting forth resonates so deeply with me because I'm all about that. I try so hard to accept my body in the moment, but sometimes it gets a little hard. And that's when you need good skincare that actually works with your skin, doesn't trouble your skin even more. Just like you would nourish your body with food, nourish your brain with thoughts, with reading, you need to nourish your skin as well. Skincare is literally therapy. It is such a therapeutic moment. And for me, honestly, when I'm nourishing my skin with the right products, I feel so much better. In that moment, I'm just one dedicating that time for my skin, just like how I dedicate time for my workout, for my food, for my cats, for my family. I take that moment out for my skin and it just feels so nice. And for me, I resonate with Listen quite a bit, mainly because they're focusing on good progress while embracing yourself, embracing your acne, while working on reducing inflammation, hyperpigmentation, protecting your skin barrier. It's not a brand that's focusing you to just get rid of the acne right now. It's asking you to take care of it thoughtfully and that is something I honestly really like. The thought that goes into the packaging of the brand, you guys, everything, it's so beautifully done. So for example, this is the packaging of their moisturizing cream and right here it says, balance is the key to everything in life, including your skin. And I really like this thoughtful approach. It really calms you down when you're doing your skincare. It's not too harsh. It's not making you feel terrible for your skin. And I really appreciate that. The colors that the brand has chosen, the packaging, everything, it's very, very calming. All right, now let's get started with the skincare routine. I'm going to wash my face on camera for you all. I know what you're thinking, Preeti, what are you doing? You never wash your face on camera. I know I do it very rarely, mainly because I want to show you this product's texture. It is a foaming cleanser and I absolutely love it. So this is the face wash that we're going to use today, the Perfect Balance Cleansing Foam. It's got salicylic acid, BHA with some plant extracts. I'm going to mention some key ingredients on the screen. Now this is extremely lightweight. It's a gentle foam, yet extremely effective. So if you have combination skin like mine, a lot of times when you use oily skin face washes, they rip your skin off natural moisture and it just feels so, so dry, especially in dry weathers. You want something that's very gentle on your skin and this is the perfect one for that. 
So right here is where I get really oily. I haven't washed my face in shower. I usually wash my face after my shower. So I have a lot of oil on my skin, but you notice this part is so, so dry. That's basically how combination skin works. So this is perfect for that. The fragrance is super gentle. It fades away in about a few seconds post wash, which is perfect. So if you have sensitive skin, this will work really well. Another thing that I noticed about this, and this is something that not a lot of foaming face washes have, is that despite being a foaming face wash, a gentle face wash, this is also extremely, extremely effective on reducing acne, reducing blemishes, reducing all of that excessive sebum on your skin. It doesn't leave your skin feeling too oily because a lot of foaming face washes are too gentle. They don't really clear your skin up, but this doesn't do any of that. This is perfect it also doesn't over dry these areas which is great but it reduces all of that oiliness from the skin reduces inflammation you can use it in am as well as pm routine i'm gonna spritz my face that's all that's all the amount that you need So I'm not going to take the face wash towards this section right here because it's got BHAs and you don't want to use that on this delicate area of your face. Just look at that. You guys, all of that oiliness on my skin has reduced so beautifully and this doesn't over dry the skin. My skin feels so soft and so hydrated. It doesn't feel completely dried and stretched, which a lot of BHA face washes can do. Right now, my skin is honestly pretty good, so I don't have to use it in AM as well as PM routine. I don't need that salicylic acid in my face wash, but I do use it once a day, so either in AM or in PM routine. There are some days when I get really lucky with no acne at all. In those days, I will not use this face wash every single day. I'll use it on alternate night as a prevention and also to control all of that sebum production to give me a thorough cleanse for my skin with a BHA. Now, this big guy right here is gonna last you a year minimum, if not more. I love the fact that you need such a tiny amount. It's a foaming face wash, so a pea size amount. You notice how tiny amount I took for the entire face and neck. Beautiful stuff, little goes a long way, worth every single rupee. We're gonna skip toner because toners are skippable. We're gonna use this one right here, the Absolute Harmony Moisturizing Gel Cream. This is fantastic if you have very, very oily skin as well, combination acne prone skin, because this is so lightweight. Gels are the perfect texture for combination oily acne prone skin because they're great for AM routine, they're great to layer sunscreen, great to layer some makeup on top as well. Now this gel is rich in hyaluronic acid, cranberry extract, licorice root extract, we also have some sugarcane extract right here, some aloe as well, very very good stuff if you have oily skin, combination acne prone skin. This doesn't feel too greasy, it doesn't feel too heavy, so you're not going to sweat a lot, it's not going to feel very very greasy on this T-zone right here. Now, a lot of creams can feel very heavy they get really tacky to a point where all of that dirt and dust is just sticking on your face and causing even more acne sometimes they can clog your pores as well but this doesn't do any of that gel creams are the perfect item if you have combination oily skin in the nighttime skincare you can opt for a nice sleeping mask but stay away from those thick creams altogether okay so i think this okay that's a lot this is more than enough for the face and the neck now I have a big face, so I need a lot of product, but I know a lot of people have very small faces, tiny faces, so you obviously don't need this much because it is a gel and it spreads beautifully onto the skin. Uh, a little goes a long way with this because it's got this nice gel, watery kind of consistency. <laughs> This sinks into the skin so beautifully and my skin feels so soft and not sticky at all. It doesn't have any hardcore active ingredients, so you can easily layer this in your skincare routine. Now, this is a cream that I haven't mentioned on my Instagram or YouTube before because I just started trying this out in November and I'm absolutely in love with this. It's a newfound love of mine and I wish I found this sooner because this is such a fantastic product if you have oily, acne prone skin. It does have added fragrance, but as you're applying the product, it fades away. So in about a few seconds of application, it's almost gone with all of your active acne treatments you can definitely layer this because it's extremely lightweight it brings all of that nourishment and moisture and all of that hydration back to your skin the next one is one of my favorite products from this brand and this is the moving forward spot corrector gel 
I love this so much. I've gone on and on about this. You guys have heard me speak about it on Insta stories, on Instagram reels, YouTube shorts, YouTube videos. This is easily one of the best spot correctors in the Indian market. The formulation is fantastic. This has concentrated salicylic acid with phyto oligo with a bunch of other ingredients that help to reduce all of that inflammation, reduce all of that pussiness, clean your pore from within to prevent more acne from forming there. This is so good. I've used this on all of my active acne for almost a year now and I absolutely love it. I used it on this big guy right here. It's reduced so much it's almost gone right now. There's no inflammation either. I used it on one pimple right here. There's one active one right here. I have active pimple right here. There's one on my forehead. This stuff works in literally two or three days your pimple is going to be completely gone. I have compared this with so many spot correctors in the Indian market from different Indian brands and you all know I've gone on and on about this. Nothing beats this. What I love about this is the no fuss dispenser. This is so easy to apply on the skin because it doesn't dispense a lot of product. You can just control how much product you're dispensing. Right there. And then you go ahead and spot correct your entire face wherever you have active acne. This looks really funny when I'm talking to you guys, so I'm gonna spread this out for now. Because I cannot take myself seriously with those dots on my face. But ideally, you need to spot correct only on those areas because you don't want to overdry the other area which is surrounding your acne. A lot of times when we use acne correctors like spot correctors, we spread them out a bit too much regularly, like twice a day and every single day for weeks. And what this does is that you're going to really trouble your skin barrier. So for that, you need to make sure you're using a good moisturizer like the one that I mentioned before. Fantastic stuff to hydrate the skin. You can use spot correctors right after moisturizer as well, especially if your moisturizer is lightweight like the one that I used earlier from listen is very lightweight it's a gel texture so it absorbs really well then you can go ahead with this but in case you're using a very very thick cream like a night mask or something then go in first with this and then apply the next cream so you'll have to wait for a few seconds till this dries up completely and then go in with your face cream or night sleeping mask now you can obviously use it in your AM routine as well if you're working from home like I work from home so I can use this very easily in my AM routine but if you're not working from home then please use it in your PM routine because it is an exfoliant and you don't want it to be on your skin as you're going through the day in the sun and the pollution it can really trouble your skin now with spot correctors you can use it once or twice a day depending on your convenience and need of the hour for about three or four days and that's about it you do not want to use spot correctors every single day twice a day for weeks and weeks and weeks that's going to really trouble your skin it's going to compromise your skin barrier it's going to overdry the skin so bad it's going to oversensitize your skin so then you'll have to go overboard with all your barrier repair creams and you don't want to do any of that now of course this cream is fantastic it helps to improve your barrier it helps to bring all that moisture back but if you've damaged your barrier beyond control by using a spot corrector every single day for weeks a cream can only do so much you'll have to wait very patiently for at least a month till your skin recovers completely so let's not do that to our skin let's be gentle let's be kind let's understand how what and when to use it so that you don't compromise your skin barrier this is also not very heavy on fragrance honestly it fades away in about a few seconds which i absolutely love i can go on and on about this you must have seen this in a lot of my reels especially on spot correctors and acne treatments i strongly recommend this if there's one spot corrector you need from the indian market it's this one right here the last product that i strongly recommend is this one from listen the soothing shade spf 50 pa plus 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 sunscreen fantastic stuff if you have acne prone skin oily combination skin this gives you a beautiful finish on the skin without feeling too heavy without feeling too greasy it doesn't clog the pores if you have acne treatments going on you definitely need to invest in sunscreen with all of those treatments on your skin especially with salicylic acid you're going to exfoliate your skin exfoliate your pores you need to protect your skin because your barrier gets a little sensitive and this can cause a lot of pih post inflammatory hyperpigmentation all of those dark marks that are left behind you can prevent that by obviously using a nice skincare routine like the one that I've mentioned and of course using sunscreen now UVA UVB rays of the Sun are extremely harmful for the skin especially if you have active acne your skin is extremely sensitive this whole area right here is extremely sensitive and if you don't have the right Sun protection you're gonna cause a lot of hyperpigmentation post inflammatory hyperpigmentation so while your acne is subsiding that mark is going to take forever to fade away and you want to prevent this with good sun protection so using a sunscreen regularly is extremely important and even more when you have active treatments going on with AHAs, BHAs, retinols etc. So I'm quickly going to show you 
what the application is like look at that you guys it's a nice lotion like finish <laughs> look at that i didn't even have to try so hard it's like a lotion you just blend it in a few times and it just sinks into the skin so beautifully look at that finish you guys it doesn't feel too tacky it doesn't feel too greasy i mean look at the difference right here and right here no difference at all because it hasn't made my skin very greasy. Over the years, nowadays especially, I'm more drawn towards moisturizing sunscreens. I no longer want something that's extremely matte. I want something that's nourishing, feels natural on the skin and gives me a nice dewy finish without feeling heavy. This has a very gentle fragrance as well and it's so easy to travel with. Look at that packaging, so cute. I'm almost done with this sunscreen too, you guys. I need to restock fantastic stuff strongly recommend it if there's one sunscreen you need for combination oily acne prone skin it is this one right here and that's my simple skincare routine featuring all products from listen all of these products are specially formulated for the indian weather the indian skin type and all of the products in today's video are great for combination oily acne prone skin the moisturizer obviously can be used for every type of skin as well even if you have very very oily skin that's not acne prone i hope you enjoyed watching today's video if you did then please hit that thumbs up so that i know you enjoyed watching this very simple skincare tutorial also let me know if you've tried any products from this brand what are the products from listen that you want to try out what are the ones that worked for you that didn't work for you all of that in the comments and for those of you who've never tried listen products before i really hope today's video encourages you to try out these products all right you guys i'm gonna take your leave now but before i go don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel check out my previous videos right here i will catch you all in the next video still then take care of yourselves bye